Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. And we're underway. Forward it goes. Tony de Vilhena. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? That is terrific skill. Aimed in towards the... Up for a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Utrecht can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Simon Gustafsson. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Eric Bottegin. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Van Persie. And it's Larsen. Hoists it high. It's a ball kick. Three kicks been given. Cuts it out. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Glass. Tony de Vilhena. Plays it out to the wing. That'll be a throw-in. This is gone, that's a foul.
Oh, that's neat. Dinks one in. He's got it. He's had a go. Goal! Utrecht take the lead. What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Utrecht get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Aimed low and direct. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Classy. And it's Larsen. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Goots it to safety. The chances keep on coming. They're awarded another corner. He just whacks it away. Pushes it out wide. And he's whipped it in low. Gets good distance on it. Chip through. And a header! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Almost the perfect move. Almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. Challenge, he just stood firm. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Utrecht really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Glass. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Larson is desperately calling for it out wide. Shapes the shoots! No, oh, it just wouldn't sit for him. Yeah, quick thinking and the right choice for me, but that was difficult to get right. Tony de Vilhena plays it forward. It's Van Persie! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with.
And it's hoisted clear. Just brushed off the ball there. Danger averted for now. Last. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Ditch defending, but that'll do. Can he put it away? Tori to Vilhena. Away from immediate danger. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Aimed long and direct. Martina. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. He's got away. Janssen. Substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. It's gone out for a throw in. Utrecht are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Simon Gustafs. He's left his man. Lovely feet. It's got through and knocks it away. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Out to the left it goes. Looking for space out wide. Clearance and very necessary. And that has been clubbed away. Feyenoord have it back and they can go again. Lost. Here it comes. Larson. Feyenoord could have here their final chance. <laughs> well, there's going to be a change now with the ball out of play. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. That intervention was very necessary. It's gone a long way up and away. And throw in. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case.
confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. So that's it, it is all over. Utrecht, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, that was a hard-fought win with a defensive masterclass. They backed up their goal with a, a resilience that was first-class. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim.